wanted to play guitar, but I could never quite master the fingering. <laughs> so I won't be a rock star. I'll just have to settle for being a shock star. My groupies. Tonight's little riff is rife with sex, death, and rock and roll. Now that's entertainment! <laughs> You'll meet a putrefied promoter of pop with an ear for a hit. I don't want to kill it for you. Let's just say we come into the story just when his career is getting real hot. <laughs> There it is again. There, there it, that's it. How long have you been hearing this, Mr. Slash? I, I, I don't know, it's a couple of weeks, but you, lately it's been getting a lot louder. Would you describe what you hear as a ringing? No, no, it's not a ringing. Buzzing, then? No, it's not a buzzing. Well, then, what is it? Is it, is it like... <laughs> Look, you're the goddamn ear specialist. You tell me what's in there. There's nothing in there, Mr. Slash. I can hear something in there. What you think you hear is an aberration. An aberration caused by repeated exposure to high decibels. You've done severe damage to your ears, Mr. Slash. In the short term, earplugs always in the workplace. Eardrops. Each night, each year, two drops. Put a little salve on the cotton swab, then gently coax it into the ear. What? This is all I get for a fucking $200 visit? That and some advice. If you want to keep what little hearing you have left, get out of the rock and roll business. Would tonight be soon enough, Doc? Show them how much we fucking love him! Marty Slash! Oh, God. Thank you very much, Ian Hall and Leather Weasel. 
Thank you very much for those kind and moving words. I'm touched and humbled. But you know, Iggy, I think the credit really belongs to all these beautiful people. Because they are the ones that have helped make my dream a reality. Chief Kabubi. Chief Kabubi. Please tell your brave and beautiful Amazonian people that we have put one million dollars into the bank from these benefit concerts, and I assure you that this money will go where it's needed most. Was I okay, Mr. Slash? You were... <laughs> you were great, Sid. You were great. Listen, let's just keep this between you and me, huh? I mean, obviously, the cost of flying a real Amazon in. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Mr. Slash, you're saying way too much. I Take understand. Take a cab home, Sid. Would you like your spear? <laughs> Who's me? Your conscience. My conscience? I don't have a conscience. Oh, no? Then what am I? Talk radio? <laughs> okay. It's a joke. Come out of it. No. I'm in here. In your head. I've been trying to get through to you for 38 years. Boy, you let a kid get away with gluing the dog's eyes closed. Next thing you know, he's stealing million dollars of charity money. This isn't happening. Uh-huh. Well, stick your fingers in here. I'll give you my Harry James impersonation. <laughs> Don't steal my money. I'm tired. I'm nervous. I'm a little jangled. I've just never had my hands on this much money before. <laughs> Marty, morality aside, this is a felony. We're talking about 45 years in prison. That is an aberration, just like the doctor said it was. I know you have ambitions, Marty, but I don't think they include being gang raped by the entire Aryan Nation's weightlifting club. <gasps> I just think I'm hearing what I think I'm hearing. Think, that's the key word, Marty. To get away with a crime like this, you need brains. And I gotta tell you, I'm in here looking at yours, and, well, you're gonna get caught. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. You're throwing your life away. Life? What life? You mean being a goddamn gopher for a bunch of drooling morons just because they can play three chords on a guitar? Marty? Marty, these, these groupies are too ugly, Marty. Oh, Marty! This chicken isn't extra crispy enough, Marty. Marty, we told you we don't like red ones in the M&M bowl, Marty. For 12 years, it's been Marty this and Marty that, and I got nothing to show for it. That is until now. Put the money down, Marty. So the bad's about to happen. I can just feel it. Something bad's about to happen. You already said that. Okay, so I was premature. 
We know you've had the same problem from time to time. I... Shut up! Got a good story? For the cops? Listen, you looking for the band? I'm not looking for the band. I'm here to see you, Marty. Um... You are the man who saved the Amazon, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, and frankly, I wasn't expecting them to send me one of their women. Uh, nobody sent me, Marty. I thought, Marty Slash has done so much. There must be something I can do to lighten his load. Well, you come to think that there might be something. Whoa! This one's trouble, Marty! Come over here. Tell me all about it. Come on, Marty. Aren't you the least bit suspicious? Think about it. What does a beautiful woman like her want with an ugly little toad like you? Oh. <laughs> so you like to play rough. How? Look, babe. Can we just skip the foreplay and get right to it? I'd like nothing better, Marty. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have a very high opinion of you, Marty. Hey, I hope that's not for me. Oh, no. It's for me. Whatever. Look, babe, I don't have a lot of time. It's just a small matter to negotiate. You're a hooker. I'm not a hooker. I'm a banker. A banker? Your banker, Marty. Your personal banker. Next in line, please. Oh, good morning, Mr. Slash. Will you be needing a receipt today? We have a wonderful rate on our six-month T-bill. It's cute, boss. You look so different. <laughs> well, they don't exactly encourage us to dress this way at work. You never did notice me, did you, Marty? But I noticed you. I noticed how you withdrew all the Save the Amazon money today in cash. Well, schmuck, can't say I didn't warn you. Won't those bleeding hearts be surprised when that check for a million dollars bounces tomorrow morning? Where are you running away to, Marty? Nowhere. Lisbon, Portugal. Good choice. Extradition's difficult. The Escudo is holding up well against the dollar. Oh, and Marty, speaking of dollars, Where's the money? Huh? Wouldn't be in here, would it? <laughs> All right. What do you want? I want half. let you get away with it. I could have blown the whistle on you at the bank. And don't forget, Marty, I can still blow the whistle on you now. Oh, this is what I get for being an entrepreneur, huh? Tell her to go to hell, Marty. It's not too late to do the right thing. Miss Kilbasa? Yes? I want to do the right thing here. Mm-hmm. That's it, Marty. Tell her. You're a banker. Count out your half. Smart boy. Dumbass. Well, $500,000 is better than nothing. It's more than I ever would have had if I stayed in this lousy business. Not that I don't have memories like this axe. 
Oh no. I know what you're thinking. Don't do it, Marty. Not that. You know who gave me this guitar? No, who? Pete Townsend! <laughs> She's dead! Oh, this is great. You're trying to fit her in there? What's the matter? Could you find a shoebox? Marty, stop! Put her leg down and listen to me! I want you to pick up the phone and call the police! I think your best shot is a temporary insanity plea. From where I sit, you definitely have a case. I'm not listening to you. I think we just hit on the problem. You don't listen to me. Never have. I'm just gonna have to speak up! Oh! Oh! Open it. It sounded like you were killing somebody in here. <laughs> What's going on? We've had 30 complaints tonight so far from your neighbors about the noise. noise. That's right, the noise. Now turn this shit down or I'm hauling your ass off to jail. Oh, officer, please, please, please. <laughs> I really, really, I had no idea that things had gotten this out of hand, okay? You see, I've just, uh... Killed my banker! I killed my banker. <laughs> I killed my hearing working in this fucking place. <laughs> and that's why I gotta wear these now. Doctor's orders. Spud? Spud? Yeah, it's Marty. Listen, Spud, I've had some complaints about the noise. Will you turn it down, please? Anything else I can do for you, officer? Just keep it down. Move, move, please! <laughs> Sorry, officer. I, uh, I, I, uh, I was aiming for the wastebasket. I, 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 I don't think I'll be needing these things anymore. <laughs> now, now that we turn the music down. He's looking at the drum case, Marty. He knows. Property of Donny Osmond. His tour moved down to Fairbanks, Alaska over a month ago. Don't you think Donny would be missing his drum kit? Yeah, probably. Well, why don't we get it out of here? Huh? Oh, yeah. Time is what? Let's go. Move yeah, it out right on, now. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 let's go. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Here we go. <laughs> good. All right. Good. Donny Osmond. Now, him, I like. Well, remind me to get you an autograph picture. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't let him go! God damn it, Marty, you blew your chance! Come back! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh!
All I gotta do is walk down the stairs, right through that door, and get into my limo. You'll never make it, Marty! Who's gonna stop me? I am, motherfucker! Since you're not gonna confess, I guess I'll have to do it for you. Watch this! Hey, Marty. Hi, really Better Benz. Did I happen to mention that I killed my bankrupt upstairs? Boy, did you see her face? She heard me, Marty. She definitely heard me! Oh, Dale, babe. You ever see what someone's brains look like splattered over a million dollars in cash? Well, I have. They hear me, Marty! No, they don't. Sure about that, killer? Okay. Well, let's just see what happens when we walk by him. Don't want to try it, huh? Hey, why are you walking so funny? Didn't brown out your Bermudas, did you? <laughs> Hey, monkey dick, I killed my banker. Well, zip up your pants and get the cop. You hear that? Yeah, tell the cop I stuffed the bitch in Donnie Osborne's glove case. What's the matter with you, Queenie? Never made pee pee next to a psychopath before? Still don't think they can hear me, Marty? No. No. It's not possible. It's not possible. This. This is not possible. This is this cannot be possible. Then why is everybody looking at you, fucker? Just open that door and I'll tell them all. Attention shoppers! We got a murderer in year 03! You'll be my guest. The music's so loud they can't hear you! Then I guess I'll have to speak a little louder! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, and I'll just have to turn the music up a little louder! Go ahead, Marty! Give me your best shot! We'll see who cracks first! Turn it up, Spud! Marty just told me to turn it down. Well, now I'm telling you, turn it up! Don't turn it up, Spud! Turn me into the cop! Did you hear me, Spud? That little son of a bitch! So I'll move to the... You pathetic loser! You're gonna get back! Say what? I didn't catch that. I got a job for a guy called Marty Slash. He paid me the chicken, never no cash. And that butt me my hot, you know what? Come again! Tell me, Gilder! Beg your pardon! They heard me that time, Marty. They know you did it. What are you looking at me for? What's going on, Iggy? I didn't mean to kill my banker. Hey. Oh, Check it out. All I wanted to do was steal the Amazon money. What? Huh? It's okay. It's all right here. It's right here. She tried to get half of it. I couldn't let her do that. <laughs> I had to smash her in the head with my guitar. You can understand that, can't you? Good, Marty. That was a lovely confession. Doesn't it feel better to get it off your chest? Hey, what's that in your ear? Oh. It Easy. Hey, Marty, something just occurred to me. 
Do you think that's what everybody was looking at all the time? And they can never really hear me? Oh, Marty. That would mean that if you just kept your mouth shut, you could have gotten away with it after all. A priest, a rabbi, and a Hindu. They're in this canoe, see? And, uh, there's only enough food for two of them. Stop me if I've told you this before, Marty, okay? Marty? Oh, come on, Marty! It's been two years. You still can't be mad at me. Is this any way to spend our last moments together? Is this our man? That's him. Hey! <clears throat> what do you say we sing some Broadway show tunes? <clears throat> hey, Slash. Ain't gonna eat your last meal? Hey! Don't waste your breath. He's deafer than a doornail. Oh, I know. In the last remaining moments, let's go over those Ten Commandments a few more times. Let's see. You want to go first or shall I? All right, I'll go. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Well, you've done all these, haven't you, Marty? Huh? <laughs> Is it time? Is it time yet? Is it time? What's the hurry, Marty? <laughs> Wasn't that one a real smash? I know it was for Miss Kilbasa. <laughs> As for Marty, he was right about that noise in his head. He probably wished he was deaf, but he got deaf instead. Well, until next time, Freight fans, ears looking at you. <laughs>